Good morning, YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. Today, we're going to go over blisters, flaking, and delamination, and how to troubleshoot it, what symptoms you can actually do, like uh, the machine side, the material, and the mold side. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to read you what I have wrote down as what each one is, okay? So blisters, okay? During injection, air can be come entrapped within the molded part causing a blister to form on the part surface this often occurs where where two flow fronts meet because of variation in part wall thickness or geometry of the part um, it can also be uh, caused if air or gas become entrapped in the polymer melt which then gets injected into the part during molding okay so that would be your blisters um, flaking so flaking occurs um, it's like a it, the cause of delamination or, and peeling what they call it in injection molding uh, products are as follow material temperature is too low injection mold temperature is too low screw speed is too fast resulting in internal stress the cold material hole is small um the fluid fluid is the fluidity is poor and the material is too cold too fast okay cool too fast whatever um delamination so delamination is like it, it peels at the surface i was gonna try to show you guys some pictures of the stuff but we don't have these issues here so it's kind of hard to show you but delamination refers to a uh, a flake where a material manufacturer parts uh, the parts don't bond so the lamination can be seen on the surface or can be hidden within the part um, this is occurs when the abrasive between the materials layers fails and bonding due to several factors shrinkage uh, stress due to improper curing or cooling can cause cracking that leads to delamination so like you have two different materials or be on top of each other sometimes you do this in like um over molding um stuff like that where the two parts don't bond together um sometimes you'll get the lamination if the material's wet and stuff like that so all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take you guys over here to the board and i'm gonna show you some things that i put down on the board over here for like the machine the material and the mold and these are things that you can try to help you out with blisters, flaking, and delamination, okay? So on the mold side here, what we have is we have increased barrel temperature, increased nozzle temperature. I don't know why my battery just died. Um, so you have um, <clears throat> increased screw speed, decrease injection rate, or adjust the profile. So if you have a profile setting for your speeds, adjust that increase screw back pressure increase nozzle orifice size increase injection rate adjust profile faster so up here you, you see it says make it slower this one says make it faster decrease screw speed um and then decrease barrel temperature so you can see up here is one way down here is another way so if it don't work one way go the other way and see if it'll work down down here for the material Check material for contamination. Check material moisture, like checking the dryer, make sure the dryer is working correctly. Decrease percentage of regrind or just eliminate the regrind completely. And compatible color concentrate. So the concentrate that you're using with the virgin material may not be compatible. So you might check that to see if that's working. Now on the mold side, decrease the hot runner temperature or sprue temperature so it's not so hot. Check for burns along the melt path, so along wherever the material's flowing, the last pl place on it. Double check all that area. Increase wall thickness. And then check consistency of water temperature and the flow of the water. So making sure you're getting water through everything. So these are a couple things you, you can try as far as troubleshooting these issues. There is a couple more other issues that you could try or simple ish uh, troubleshooting skills that you can try but that's kind of what i have for you guys um 
the next video I'll probably go over will probably be over uh, what is a troubleshooter and what is the terminology for a troubleshooter and what is a scientific motor. Um, this video is a little shorter. I just wanted to go over a couple troubleshooting techniques as far as you know what blisters, flaking, and delamination were. I wish I'd have had some pictures to show you guys the the whole you know what they actually are but if you go online and look at them you can kind of see it. it looks like bubbles or blisters is what it looks like uh, flaking is where the material just flakes off real bad it looks like paint on a house just flakes off real bad um, and then delamination is just it looks like you can just peel one part of the material off like a banana it's, it's crazy but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was informative Please like, share, and subscribe. Till next video, peace.